Welcome to Legit Review's look at upgrading the Patriot Box Office Media Player. The box office was originally released in late 2009 and is based on the Realtek 1073 chipset. This means that the player can play almost any media file that you can throw at it. MKV, Blu-ray ISOs, AVI, MP3, FLAC, etc, etc. Priced at under $80, this player can uh, also house a 2.5 inch hard drive for onboard storage and works well as a simple BitTorrent client. Right now we're looking at the current G, uh, GUI for the box office, which I have to say is its biggest Achilles heel. It just doesn't look as good as the Apple TV or Western Digital Live Hub. The latest Patriot firmware is supposed to take a step forward by giving the user a better looking interface as well as providing a bit more functionality when streaming media from the internet. The first thing we need to do before we can upgrade is grab the latest official uh, firmware version from the Patriot website. To get it, you just navigate to the Patriot website, go to Peripherals, down to Media Players, and select the Patriot box office. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see a list of downloadable files for the box office. Now make sure you choose the correct boot code for your player. The first time that we tried this, we actually chose the wrong boot code and we ended up bricking a player. Um, after putting the firmware on a thumb drive, Plug it into the box office and navigate to the System Upgrade option in the Setup menu. After confirming the upgrade, the system will reboot and you'll see your new GUI. Notice the name has changed to PBO, PBO Core up in the upper right. So that's kind of the new, I guess, the two, 2011 name for the box office. The GUI's look and feel is much different than the older firmware version, uh, but it still has the same functionality. Now, it doesn't look as good as some of its competitors still, but there's better internet functionality for early adopters who've, who've already bought the player. Our files still play great, and for less than $80, it's a great player, especially if you combine it with a 2.5-inch hard drive. So here we are just navigating around the new GUI for the PBO Core. And uh, as you can see, everything is still there. It's just uh, we have a different kind of font, new icons. It's a little bit more pleasant to the eye. And as I'm controlling it with the remote, it does seem to be a little bit quicker, a little bit uh, peppier. So that is, uh, that's, a, that's a good thing. So here's the IMS menu, which is the kind of the internet media service. And let's see what's, uh, what's in there. Let's see, we have video news, video podcast, ESPN radio. Um, Patriot tells me that uh, they will be having a lot more um, uh, a lot more uh, to choose from in the future. We hope so. Uh, here's Picasso and Flickr, some of your standard fares, but notably missing is the Netflix or the uh, even the YouTube, uh, Amazon video. So we hope to see a little bit more. Uh, let's see exactly how easy it is to um, play a video at this point. Everything's still the same. We can navigate our shares. We can navigate our servers. And uh, let's just see if we can pull a video here that, uh, that we can play. Here's one of the latest episodes from Top Gear. Let's see how quick and easy this thing plays.
We have more screenshots and feedback from the box office upgrade at the Legit Reviews website. Please visit us at www.legitreviews.com. Thanks for watching.